Well, just crossed over the Texas-Louisiana border. Um, left Borger, Texas at 5 o'clock this morning. It is 2.15, 2.16, and I'm still about, I don't know, a couple hours away. But Hackberry is by far, as far as Louisiana goes, my favorite hunting and fishing spot. No matter the time of year, what it is, I've, I just I love Hackberry. So if you're looking for a decent, no, great place to go at a fair, affordable price for what you're getting, the rooms, the accommodations, the customer service, and the food is phenomenal. So 10 out of 10, um, Hackberry Rod and Gun, go check them out and book your trip. So see you in a second. So I'm hoping it's going to be a really good duck year especially down here. Usually um, the, the taller grass and the reeds, they're as low as where they've mowed. All the marshes and all the inlets have standing water in them. And I wouldn't say any more than what they usually do, but it's really nice to see that it got so much moisture that everything is green, everything is growing. Everything's going to have a really good early fall for teal and the other ducks coming through. Um, nobody really enjoys eating mud duck unless it's in a duck gumbo, but that's just because you can't taste it. But by golly, they're fun to shoot. All right. So I am in number one. on into the living room, little kitchen area, microwave, and a uh, refrigerator. Then the bed room, it's not very big. I got three beds. Toss that down. Then the bathroom. It's not bad. Yeah. All in all, it's extremely comfortable. So they have cameras all over this place. And I just leave the door unlocked. Um, make sure I set my alarm extra early to where, I mean, they will come in, knock on all the doors. The only technically downside about it would be that for every two or three man or four group fish or hunt it's not a huge room but um, all you're gonna do is just sleep in here so it is a little close quarter it is um, some people might not like that some people might be uncomfortable with that it is barrack style to where in the same room but for what it is, this is fantastic. I mean, this is truly awesome. And I'll go walking around the property in just a while. And as soon as it stops raining, get a look at everything else. Uh -huh. Standing on the pier. Yeah, it's just wrinkling, misting really, but. Yeah. No one really fishes over here, but I'll try some tonight just because never get to. And, uh, yeah, this is where we'll take off in the morning. So, we live up in the Texas Panhandle. We usually don't get rain. Ever. But, down here in Hackberry, it's raining like crazy. It's fantastic. It's awesome. So, the lodging is like uh, little apartments, like I just showed you. But each one, metal roof, uh, it's all stuff around. They got 
games downstairs, like little barbecue areas, whatnot, the, where you eat dinner over here. We'll check that out here in a little bit, but it's a fantastic place. I absolutely love this place. Okay, well, uh, it started rain again, so I really didn't get to walk around the other couple of um, buildings and, and areas. So, seven o'clock dinner time, went over there, had my own table, I'm here alone, so um, had my own table, slightly awkward, um, paid for two, and then someone canceled so then they actually came and got like the tea and the other stuff well I was already like chowing so I ate my salad and my gumbo I ate the other salad and the other gumbo and uh, so yeah dinner was great it always is here so we uh, everybody finished eating and like it's a huge dining hall so I grabbed my rods and headed out and yeah, obviously, you saw the fish that, I mean, they're not monsters or anything, but, I mean, shoot, walk 100 yards, and you're right on the dock, and bam, 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 bam. So, I mean, it was pretty fun. Um, I think I got five or six specks and a couple handfuls of bites, but when you come to Hackberry Rod and Gun, you've seen the rooms. Tomorrow on the next video, tomorrow afternoon, I'll show you the grounds. Um, you've seen the setup. The food is awesome. The people are great. The owners are just ridiculously awesome. And the guides are the best. So there's no reason you shouldn't go duck hunting, teal hunting, redfish, flounder, trout. Even offshore trips are awesome. It's like an extra 50, 75 bucks depending on fuel. So if you can, if it's glass, go. It's 
it's it's awesome so end of day one great job everybody and i'm exhausted take care stay safe i'm mark o'neill with o'neill outdoors this is video one of three for hackberry rod and gun 2021